What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. Today, I'm going to be bringing to y'all's attention some prison news coming out of Oklahoma. An Aryan gang decided to put a hit out on a white blood that was on the streets. We're going to talk about that and how, you know, a lot of white bloods are looked at in prison by these white guys. But for anybody that might be new, we talk about all things lockup related. If this is what you're into, do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. A gang war court records reveal has been going on since 2019, turning deadly in Oklahoma City. All right, so this individual that you're seeing is Connor Huckabee, and he is a blood from Oklahoma. Turns out some universal Aryan brotherhoods from Oklahoma prison system put a green light out on Mr. Huckabee. Green light means, you know, uh, if you see him, you kill him. And that's exactly what happened. Mr. Huckabee lost his life on the side of a road. Now, the night that the murder took place, uh, Mr. Huckabee was staying inside of his Metro hotel room here. While sitting in his room, he was Facebook messaging a female, a female that was coming to pick him up in a pickup truck. Well, it turns out this pickup truck was probably going to be his last ride. And this is the young girl that he was waiting to meet up with. I'm not going to lie. She looks extremely sketch. I ain't getting in no pickup truck with this jank, man. Look at the damn tattoos. They don't even look real. But anyways, he decided to get up out the damn hotel, jump into the truck. The next morning, Mr. Huckabee was found right here on the side of the road. And you ain't gonna believe the type shit these guys did to him. Now on the left with the bald head, we have Kyle. And on the other side, we have Rusty. These guys are the OGs at the Universal Aryan Brotherhood. They're the ones that put the hit out on the white blood, Mr. Huckabee. I can guarantee one thing for sure, though. These guys are on maximum security lockdown right now as we speak. And who knows how long they're going to be on that because, you know, if you're labeled as like a shot caller or someone that can call hits on the street, they're going to make sure that you don't be calling nothing for the next 10, 15 years. Records go on to say at least eight UAB members were involved in beating the blood in a parking lot, where Huckabee was forced to humiliate himself and denounce the blood gang. So they humiliated the guy and made him denounce his gang. If I were to guess, when it comes down to the humiliation part, they probably had him begging butt naked. That's the only most disrespectful thing I could see someone doing to someone before they take their life. And also, if I were to guess, they probably recorded this whole damn incident. Now, the news said eight individuals ended up beating him up in a parking lot. I'm guessing after he got into the pickup truck with the girl, uh, they might have stopped somewhere. You know, a lot of people like to stop, roll up, or do something illegal in these parking lots. And, you know, most guys, when they're with a girl, they're not looking out the window. They're probably the one rolling up or doing something, you know, where their attention ain't on their surroundings. So these guys probably rolled in, beat the hell out of them, and then they took them to this back road. Jordan Shaw ended up shooting him in the head, and Dominic Shelton went ahead and shot him in the stomach two more times. Then the UAB members came back to Morris's wife at Jacqueline Steiner's house, where documents show she paid them for their role in the murder. Now this shows you just how deep the prison game can be mixed with the streets. You got the OG Mr. Morris using his old lady to pay for the hits. It's all connected, man. It doesn't matter if she's a girl. She obviously respects her man enough to do as he says, and who knows, maybe she didn't know what she was going to be paying these guys for. Maybe she was just following his instructions and he painted it to be, you know, some kind of payment for something else. Judging by her smile on this mugshot, she doesn't look like she's too worried. You know, a lot of people still, even after so many stories that I've told in this channel, think that when stuff happens in prison, it just stays in prison. You know, it ain't gonna roll over to the streets. That's, that's only what happens in the movies. I can promise you, without the streets, nothing would be jumping in prison. A ball head dude here shot the white blood in the head and his other homeboy next to him shot him in the stomach. I just don't understand why individuals are willing to throw their whole damn life away behind a group of people that don't give two shits about them. But then again, they did get paid, and they're probably going to get paid more than once. There are so many people involved, it could have been initiation as well for these individuals. They probably knew exactly what would become their way if they ended up getting caught. They'd probably just go to prison and get a little more respect in there with their organization. I mean, these guys are going to come in there saying they killed a white blood. If I were to gamble on it, that's going to give them tons of respect in prison within their organization. 
almost legendary. So there is a couple forms of payment here. Not only cash, but the stripes. The stripes and the stories that comes with it for years. I mean, look, it's made it to lockdown 23 and 1, right? So, you know, a lot of people, man, they just ain't got no hope for the future. And, and you know, they probably are willing to throw everything away to build a better future in prison with this group of individuals. And usually it's when they get older, doing a lot of time in prison that they realize it was all damn sham. That's a little bit of news from the Oklahoma prison system that made its way to the streets. A lot of these guys I do stories on that ended up losing their life, man, they have no earthly idea how much people are plotting on them. I mean, this was a dozen people in on getting this guy killed so it's it's you gotta be careful out there man uh you know you can't trust nobody especially i hate to say it but uh maybe even your significant other you have no idea how many these significant others run around with deep down hate for the person that they're living with now another huge factor about this whole story is the area the location the prison system i mean oklahoma is a little more towards the west so those uh, white organizations in prison are a lot more structured. Over here in Virginia, let's say you're a white blood and you're going into the prison system. You're not going to have to worry about any of the Aryans for the most part. You're going to have to worry about people from your own organization. They're gonna, there's going to be people that are going to embrace it and, and be like, yeah, man, this dude's legit. And there's going to be people that are going to look at you with pure hate. So be ready for it, man. I'm not going to sugarcoat nothing. And when you are claiming that organization, uh, I'm, chances are sooner or later, somewhere down the road, you're gonna see some kind of animosity strictly because of your skin color. Sad world we live in, ladies and gentlemen. But if you enjoyed, do not forget to hit the like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. Check out all the links in the description of the video. Add me up on my second channel, and I think I'm about to change it up again. I'm gonna be doing podcast style stories on my other channel, crime, prison stories, whatever I can find on the web, I'm gonna read them to you and let you enjoy the sweet serenities of my voice and my voice alone. So, uh, you know, for all them people that do a lot of driving and just want some good, uh, good juicy stories to listen to, go check it out. Mr. Death is my second channel, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, y'all make y'all's way over there. Anyways, until the next time, I salute to every last one you've been supporting me since the beginning. And everybody who's just now joining the Lockdown Compound, y'all be easy, be safe, and stay free.